The West Virginia Mountaineers took to the field at home tonight in conditions similar to this. Snow falling on the ground, getting ready to play one of their biggest home games in recent memory. Then the Sooners took the field and hit them with an avalanche. The Sooners rushed for 316 yards, 241 of those in the first half. Oklahoma with a convincing 56-28 win over the West Virginia Mountaineers on Mountaineer Field inside of Milan Pushkar Stadium in Morgantown, West Virginia. The Sooners actually punted on their first possession of the game, but on that punt, Gary Jennings of West Virginia muffed the punt. It was recovered by Oklahoma, and then six plays later, Samar Ajay's P. Ryan scored the first of his two touchdowns from two yards out to give Oklahoma a 7-0 lead. Oklahoma took a 21-0 lead at the end of the first quarter and a 34-7 lead at halftime. And after a 1-2 start, the Oklahoma Sooners may very well be the hottest team in college football not named the University of Alabama. And after that 1-2 start in which their college football playoff hopes were pretty much done and dusted, with the losses by Michigan, Clemson, Washington, and then this past Thursday, Louisville, Oklahoma's playoff chances are well and truly alive. And after the game, I got a chance to talk with Samaj P. Ryan, who had 160 yards rushing and a couple of touchdown runs on 31 carries. And I asked him to begin our conversation. How confident is this team now and compare it to the confidence level that the Sooners had after their loss to Ohio State on September 17th, which dropped them to one and two? Um, much more confident, you know, we didn't know what to expect, you know, after the one and two start, but, um, you know, we just, just kept it close and, um, you know, kept to the guys around us and, you know, just took it one week at a time and we are, uh, you know, you've reeled off uh, so many wins uh, in a row. You had 160 yards in this game, a couple of touchdowns as well. Uh, when you came out and saw the snow, uh, did you know that it was going to be the type of game that the running game was going to carry uh, this team to victory? I was hoping for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for it. <clears throat> uh, what allowed you to be able to have such a good game, uh, you and Joe as well, to really dominate this game, a big around over 300 yards rushing in this contest? Offensive line, you know, they they played probably one of their best games this year, you know, and um, you know, that's all we had to do is follow those guys, and, you know, the holes were there, so we just had to hit them. Uh, of course, you concentrate on your own team, but you can't help but, think about what happened last week with Michigan, and Clemson, and Washington losing, and then Thursday, Louisville uh, losing. Does that provide a little bit more motivation, seeing all those teams lose and giving you a chance? No, we still have, you know, a big game in our conference, so, you know, we have to be ready for that before we, you know, do think about anything ahead of that. So, you know, we're just taking it a week at a time. And speaking of that big game, a week off, uh, and then Oklahoma State as well, a de facto uh, Big 12 uh, championship game. What are your thoughts on facing Oklahoma State, another team that uh, is right around the top 10 uh, in the uh, college football playoff rankings and a rival, of course? Um, it's going to be a big game. You know, it's uh, for the outright win of the Big 12 championship. So, <clears throat> you know, they're going to be pumped for it. And, uh, you know, obviously we're going to be pumped for it. So, you know, we just have to go out and execute like we know we can and just make routine plays. You said you didn't know what to expect after that one and two start. Uh, did you have it, an expectation at that time? No, you know, we were just taking it one week at a time. Yeah. Uh, what was it like playing in the snow? It was fun. Yeah. I liked it. I want to do it again. <laughs> was it the first time you've played in the snow? Yep. Yeah. So hopefully not the last? Hopefully. <laughs> so, Maja, congratulations on the win. Thank you. So, P. Ryan, 160 yards, rushing a couple of touchdowns. His backfield mate, Joe Mixon, 147 yards rushing, and he also had a touchdown on the ground. But those two running backs were upstaged by West Virginia's Justin Crawford, who rushed for, get this, 331 yards, the third most rushing yards in a single game in school history at West Virginia University, but not nearly enough. West Virginia plagued by turnovers, four turnovers in this game, and each of those turnovers was turned into an Oklahoma touchdown. 27 points for the Sooners off of four West Virginia turnovers. West Virginia drops to 8-2. and two. They go on the road next week to Ames, Iowa and Jack Trice Stadium to take on the Iowa State Cyclones for the Oklahoma Sooners, the number nine team in the college football playoff rankings. They're 9-2, and two, and they have one game left, and it's Bedlam. 
at home against the number 11 team in the latest college football playoff rankings, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. It'll be a de facto Big 12 championship game, and the Oklahoma Sooners may very well work their way into the college football playoff with a couple of losses. So stay tuned to a lot of sports talk and a lot of sports talk.com. We will have a lot of college basketball coverage for you in the next few days. We will be at the Legends Classic at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn on Monday and Tuesday. We will provide a snapped judgments photo album from those two days at the Legends Classic at the Barclays Center and also a couple of new podcasts as well. The A Lot of Sports Talk podcast as well as our NFL podcast down and distance before the games on Thanksgiving. So once again, our final score, Oklahoma 56 and West Virginia 28. On the field of Mountaineer Field, inside of Milan Pushkar Stadium in Morgantown, West Virginia. My name is Adeshina Koike for a lot of sports talk.com. And yes, right after this, I'm going to do a snow angel.